Welcome to Chase Talks. My name's Chase, and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn VGC 2018. In this episode, we are starting off with a brand new team. New year, new team. Well, actually, we're going to be ringing in the new year with a new team, um, since we're starting on New Year's Eve here. And uh, Happy New Year's to everybody out there. So, how are we going to ring in this new year, and what is going to be our first team of the new year? It is actually going to be a hurricane team. A rain team. Um, I'm calling it a hurricane team. Um, mostly going off of the rain setter on the team, which is going to be our Pelipper. Now, as always, there is a link in the description. You can click that. That'll bypass the team builder where I'll break down the sets and my thought process behind building it this way. Um, and it'll bring you straight into the three battles of the day, our first three battles with this team. So now hopping straight into our team builder. The first Pokemon on our team is the Pelipper that I was talking about. Our Hurricane on the Hurricane team is our Bakawa. Um, with a Damp Rock, Drizzle is its ability, of course, to set the rain. Scald Hurricane, Tailwind, Protect. I made a 40-minute video that I posted um, talking about how important Tailwind was on a Sun team. Equally as important on a Rain team. Um, and I'm really showing how I'm going to... Ex exploit that because if you can see on the spoiler bar i actually have two pokemon on this team made to set tailwind to get that speed control down um so i'm running 252 in hp 78 in defense 180 in special attack with a modest nature now this is a more defensive pelipper meant to um be slow so that it'll get the rain up second um compared to like an alola nine tails or a um pyrantar which i've been facing a lot of so it'll be a little bit slower than them but I'm not running min speed. I still want that little bit extra speed. And I'm running a mostly offensive one to do as much damage with the Scald and the Hurricane as possible while still being defensive on the physical side and um, having a little bit of defense on the special side. Most of the time, if special side's coming at me, though, it's going to be Thunderbolt, and I'm not going to be able to live it even if I was 252 in special defense with a like a careful or a calm nature. So I would lose to that anyway. So um, our next Pokemon on this team is our Rain Sweeper R. Grundy. Solomon Grundy over here. Um, a pink Grundy in our Mega Swampert with the Swampert Eye, of course. Swift Swim is its ability once it's Mega Evolved. Its ability is Torrent before that. Um, waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Protect. Um, I decided to run Waterfall, Stab, Flinch Chance, Earthquake, also Stab. Hits everything on the field, and I can Earthquake while next to one of my three flying types on this team without worrying about damaging myself. Um, or even another Pokemon, I have a Grass type on my team too, I can also Earthquake next to my Grass type without worrying about too much damage. Ice Punch is mainly for Landorus's and Mega Salamences and Zapdos. Um, there's a lot of Ice Weakness running around the meadow right now. Ice Punch will allow me to put down that pressure on that. I am running full Ham Offensive, 252 in speed, 252 in attack with a um, uh, Adamant Nature with a um, Special Defense. This is going to give me the most speed possible, because without running Jolly, we're still running Adamant Nature. Um, when I am doubled by the Swift Swim. So I'm going to, it'll turn that 122 into a 244, and I'll be very fast. Um, I'll speed things like Tapu Koko, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Grundy's going to be kind of our main sweeper on this team. It's really going to be putting in the work, and um, this team's going to be based around finishing off with Grundy. Um, I thought about running a different Mega and having Kingdra be our sweeper, but I really liked Grundy, and I also thought about putting Kingdra on this team just anyway, just to have both. But um, for now, I'm just going to stick with one Rain Sweeper. I wanted to, when I was building this team, I was kind of trying to think how ham do I want to go on the um, Rain. Do I want to bring six Rain Pokemon? Do I want to have like Pelipper, Politoed, um, Kingdra, Grundy, Ludicolo, and have just six Rain Pokemon? Um, six Pokemon and they'll do well in the Rain. Or do I want to have a Rain option, an out of Rain option, and a Rain option? Um, how much do I want to invest into the Rain? So what I decided to do is put three rain Pokemon and three Pokemon that can operate in the rain or out of the rain without too much difficulty. Um, and that brings us straight to our next Pokemon on the team, which is our Ludicolo, our Pineapple. Um, this is a shiny Ludicolo. I always think shiny Ludicolo looks like a Pineapple. Uh, it has the Waterium Z. I faced the Waterium Z Ludicolo. It caught me by surprise and did a lot of damage. Planning on doing the same thing here. I am running a bulkier Ludicolo, 252 in HP, 252 in attack, or special attack with a modest nature. Four points in special defense. This is still pretty bulky and it can take hits. I was trying to decide between an assault vest or um, a more an assault vest variant or a Z variant. I actually decided to put an assault vest on a different Pokemon um, and run a Z on this. I do have Rain Dish as my ability rather than Swift Swim. 
Um, I'd rather, I'm opting for Rain Dish for the recovery rather than the Swift Swim for the speed, um, since I'm going to be more using this to recover and fight opposing Swampert and opposing water type Pokemon like Tapu Fini. Uh, Giga Drain Surf is what's being boosted, and by the Waterium Z, Surf is also a good spread move. Um, hits everything, and it's boosted in the rain. Uh, ice Beam for those Landorus's, Zapdos's, Mega Salamence's, all the Ice Weaknesses, um, and then Protect. Now, the next Pokemon on this team is actually going to be our Landorus T. Now, before I talk about this Landorus T, I was really thinking about putting a Tornadus T in this spot instead. I decided not to do the Tornadus T and go for the Landorus instead because I really wanted to try out Assault Vest Landorus. But my other option was going to be running an Assault Vested Ludicolo with a Tornadus T with um, a uh, Flyum Z or a Waterium Z Ludicolo with an Assault Vested Tornadus T. That's what I was throwing around in my head. I decided to not do um, either combo and go with the Landorus T with Assault Vest and the Ludicolo with um, Waterium Z. And I really wanted that Intimidate pressure. I talked a lot in my 40-minute video also about why Intimidate's important. But um, keep plugging in that video because uh, it's long. <laughs> um, the um, Intimidate's super important in this format. The ability to come in, um, put everyone at minus one, and also recycle that Intimidate. Assault Vest is awesome because I can live Ice Beams from a lot of Pokemon. I can live Hidden Power Ice from everything, um, just about everything. Yeah, because I can live it from like Mega Manetric, so I should be able to live it from pretty much everything. Um, so I can live a good amount of ice beams, I can live hidden power ice from just about anything, and, um, that is even with this offensive set, because I'm running 252 in attack and 252 in speed with a jolly nature, and only 4 points in HP, so I'm not opting for, like, full HP and attack, anything like that, I'm not going full bulk, um, I'm going straight into speed, I still want this to be a strong offensive threat, I just want the assault vest for extra survivability. Earthquake, Rock Slide, Knock Off, and Super Power. Um, I like Knock Off because Knock Off allows you to remove the enemy's item. Super Power, even though it puts you at minus one, it's a very strong attack. Mostly meant for Ferrothorn. I'm very scared of Thera Ferrothorn with my team. Ferrothorn kind of wrecks my team, and in the sun, it's very hard to do good damage against the Ferrothorn. Um, so Fighting Stab is going to really help that out. Uh, rock Slide as a spread move, um, and then Earthquake as a spread move that does that's also... Um, Stab that I can do while next to my two of my other Pokemon on my spoiler bar, one of which is the Pelber that we already talked about. Um, the next Pokemon, which is one of those two Pokemon that I was talking about, was our Zapdos. And I actually decided to run a bulky, very, very offensive Zapdos. With an Agua Berry, um, pressure has to be its ability, otherwise I would run static. Um, 252 in HP, 252 in special attack, um, with a modest nature, and defense. This thing is full ham offensive with the agua berry for sustainability and 252 in hp i decided to run thunderbolt heat wave tailwind roost i opted for roost instead of protect because hp the high hp allows me to live a lot of attacks and then tailwind up i also outspeed a lot of things because zapdos has a very good base base speed like look at that 120 base speed with no investment that's almost as fast as my um grundy is at max speed so like just that extra speed investment is crazy good um, they're just having that speed investment is crazy good and Roost will give me the ability to outspeed things one tailwind's up and it gives me a second tailwind sweater get my HP back lose my flying type so I'm not weak to things like um, opposing Thunderbolt stuff like that anymore or ice beams um, and get it back get my HP back up and stay sustained if I find that I'm having trouble keeping Zapdos around I will switch Roost to protect but I wanted to try Roost first and kind of see how this set goes without protect the last Pokemon on our team is actually requested um, on YouTube, it was requested by a viewer. I'm going to throw up that request real quick. And the that Pokemon is Alone Persian. It is our Cyan. Um, is our Cyan. Uh, Cyan is one of our, actually, our channel's colors. I love the blue um, on the Alolan Persian. I really like the Alolan Persian shinies a lot. Um, and I actually found a random encounter Alolan Persian um, shiny uh, while playing through, well, Alolan Meowth while playing through ultra sun um while actually like breeding and stuff like that i just ran to a random one um so i decided to make it shiny and name it cyan because that's what i named that shiny um knock off parting shot taunt protect fur coat is its ability i decided to go for a more tanky variant um i decided to go max speed with a jolly nature the purpose of this is to get as many fast parting shots off as possible and that's why i decided to run a darkinium z on this set so I can Z Parting Shot or Z Knockoff. 
Um, I have four points in defense, four points in special attack, four points in attack, with 244 in HP to bring my HP stat to 171. Now, the main purpose of the set is to outspeed, like I was saying. It's meant to go very fast, get a fast taunt off, get a fast parting shot off, fast knockoffs, things like that. This is really meant to be a main utility set. This does have some taunt baiting, but if I get taunt baited, I can knock off both of my opposing Pokemon's items. Still be in a good spot. I just got to be careful for there's going to be one Mega Stone always around. Usually there's going to be one Mega Stone floating around on a team, and at least one, if not two, Z Crystals floating around on a team. There's going to be some combination of usually two Mega Stones and a Z Crystal, or two Z Crystals and a Mega Stone running around um, on every single team. So I do got to be careful what Pokemon I knock off, because I might knock off one of those, and it might take it very well. Um, and when I'd be losing a turn where Parting Shot would have been a better ability to get that momentum and put that Pokemon at minus one, minus one. Um, and then Dark Indium Z, Z Parting Shot is a very good ability. Um, uh, so giving the ability to use that Z Parting Shot, get that momentum, get that extra HP, things like that is going to do really well. And then a Z Knock Off will just give me a strong Dark Hole Eclipse that I can use for an offensive threat as well. Um, Alone Persian doesn't have the strongest base attack. Um, it's actually got a higher base special attack than base attack, but I felt that the knockoff would be better than if I would put a um, Dark Pulse on this, for example, and I would have read Timid rather than um, that. I felt that the knockoff would give me a lot better utility. All right, guys, so that's our team. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this team, and now I'm going to cut until we're on our first battle of the day with a brand new Hurricane team. So hopping into our first battle with our hurricane team, and I I don't want to face a weather war, <laughs> but we're gonna have to face a weather war as we're faced with another sand team. Oh man, that sucks. Um, this is kind of the point where I wish I would have put like a second. I didn't want to put a second rain setter on the team, but it would be nice just because then I could be like Pelp or Helios Tyranitar. Then I switch into like Politoed, and it resets the rain there, and then I have two. Times to set the rain. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to have to lead um, Baka and Grundy. Um, I'm worried about Amoongus. He's got Amoongus and probably Mega Gardevoir sitting on the back end. Um, so I'm worried about those two. I think that Zapdos can do well this match. Since it has like Heat Wave and Thunderbolt, Tailwind Roost. Since it's a pretty bulky Zapdos, I think Zapdos can do well this match. And, um, I actually like Pineapple too, because Pineapple can't get spored by the Amoongus if he brings the Amoongus. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So he does a decide to lead Amoongus Gardevoir. So he traces my Torrent. <coughs> um, I'm going to go straight for the Hurricane into the Amoongus slot, and I'm going to go for a, um, Waterfall into the, um, Oh man, if he had table attacks me here though, I'm going to Hurricane into the Moongus and I'm going to Ice Punch into the Moongus. The Moongus attacking me is just too big of a threat. Um, so the Ice Punch plus the Hurricane should take it out. I have 100% accurate Hurricanes. Yep, so I do take out the Moongus. I was too afraid of the, and he does set Trick Room, which I figured that he would do. Um, that's, um, that's when a... Oh man, I can't remember his name for some reason. Cybertron, Aaron Cybertron Zang's team. So that's one of his combos. Um, so I figured that is what was going to be happening right there. Um, this isn't a very fast Excadrill. Um, and I'm definitely going to be faster than Excadrill. I got to stall out a turn Trick Room here. Just until I kind of figure out what I want to do. I'm just going to stall out one turn. And then I'll also see what he wants to do. So he's going to Hyper Voice. It's a pretty safe play for him. Um, and then he's going to Rock Slide. Um, so there's three turns of Trick Room left. Mm. If he has Tyranitar in the back, that might be the best case scenario for me to do. Um, I don't think Grundy's going to live that combo. I don't know if anything's going to live that combo. I think I'm going to live switch into Strike twice since it's pretty bulky and Pineapple. Um, yeah, Pineapple's got a lot of special defense. I'm going to switch into them. And see what happens. Oh, he actually does have Tyranitar as his last Pokemon. I wonder why he decided to slow me down there. 
And he's hurting his own Gardevoir. Huh, interesting. Um, I'm going to go for a Roost um, Protect. Ooh, so it's a slow... It's a very slow Tyranitar. That's interesting that it's a slow Tyranitar. I did not expect it to be a slow Tyranitar. Um, this is the last time I can set the rain, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and protect, and I'm going to... Um, I'm really slow, too. I don't under... Oh, I underspeed. I actually underspeed Gardevoir. I'm going to go for a Hydro Vortex into the Tyranitar slot, because I don't think the Tyranitar can... I don't think that the guard, the Tyranitar can kill me this turn. Um, I think it's going to go for an attack. Yeah, it does go for the Rock Slide. Does it KO me? It doesn't KO me, so I'm going to get the Hydro Vortex off. Is that enough? It is enough to kill the Tyranitar. I'm going to die to a Hyper Voice right here. That's okay. I took out his ability to set the Sand. Now I have eight turns of rain, and I got my Grundy and my Bacaw out. That was, I think that was my best play. All I got to do right now is I just got to double focus into the Gardevoir so he can't reset Trick Room. He's going to protect and try and set Trick Room. I Waterfall into the Gardevoir that barely misses on the takeout, but the Hurricane is going to be enough. So we just set ourselves up to win this game. Our opponent is going to forfeit because um, there's no way that he would have lived a Rock Slide plus, or not Rock Slide, if he would have lived a Waterfall plus Hurricane, or not Hurricane, Scald. Waterfall plus Scald from Baka and Grundy. So we do pick up our first win of the day with this team, and really our first one with this team. That was an intense matchup. Um, it's weird that he decided to bring his weather and Trick Room because if his weather was up, and his Trick Room was up, like his Excadrill would be really fast. So that's a really weird combination. I don't know why he decided to bring both. Like he wanted to Weather War, but he also wanted to Speed War. Um, and really he needed to pick one or the other. If he would have brought Zapdos and Araquanid as his other two Pokemon, I would have had a lot more trouble in that game if he would have just went full Trick Room. Or if he would have went full, um, if he would have either went full Trick Room or full Weather, I would have had a lot more trouble in that match. Um, trying to be somewhere in between. Uh, the match actually became a lot easier because after I took out his weather option, he stuck with his trick room option. Um, then I just remove his trick room option and then the game's over. So um, <clears throat> Andy's fighting himself because like if he set up sand and like Excadrill came in and he reset trick room on that turn, now my Grundy's all of a sudden faster than his Excadrill because my, even though my Grundy's max speed, it's not speed isn't doubled anymore. So then I'm in a position where my Pokemon are slower than his in Trick Room. So that's not the best combo. But GG to my opponent. Um, despite that, he played well that match. I think that I just made, I played the turns I need to play to stall at Trick Room. I've had that problem in the past. I'm fixing that problem, getting better, um, recognizing my own faults personally. Because uh, I had problem playing against Trick Room when I was at a speed team. And I had problem playing against, I've had problems playing against Sand. So I fought both this game. <laughs> <laughs> my two biggest problems i fought this game and i ended up picking up a win that's of course isn't isn't um indicative of playing them both separate but we'll see what happens um so i'm gonna cut till we're in our second battle of the day all right hopping into our second battle of the day i'm facing off against an opposing rain team and he actually has the tornadoes i almost put tornadoes on this team but i really wanted to try out lander's teeth i might switch to like a tornadoes tea later um, with the assault vest too, but uh, oh man, that's scary. He's full ham rain. I don't know if I can beat full ham rain. Um, I am going to bring Baka and Grundy. Um, pineapple. Well, I think he's gonna set the rain. I could lead pineapple and Grundy and expect him to kind of do the same thing. But I want to make sure the rain goes up, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to have a lot of trouble with Ferrothorn. So I think I want to bring Strike. Ah, oh, man, I still have problems with Ferrothorn. I think that actually Cloud Cat might be my best answer to Ferrothorn, even though it's not a good one. Be in the rain. Mm. Yeah, I think that Cloud Cat might be my best answer. If he leads like Ferrothorn, like for Thunderous, yeah, okay. Yeah, so he just predicted me perfectly. Um, there's nothing I can really do about that. I'm going to go ahead and set up Tailwind. And I'm just going to go for a Protect with Grundy. Um, on the Thunderous. So he might... Yeah, I'm going to Tailwind and I'm going to Protect. Yeah, 
So he does just go for a Thunderbolt on Baka. I didn't know if he would do that. That's fine. Um, and he went for a Power Whip. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Intimidate here. Um, that it's going to decrease the Ferrothorn's attack. Um, I don't know what ability the... Well, I know it's not Defiant. It has to be Prankster. Um... I'm going to go ahead and go for a superpower into the Ferrothorn. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and... Or should I go into Pineapple? I think i got to go into Pineapple. I think I called the Thunderous a Tornadus, but it's a Thunderous. But I was thinking Tornadus when I saw it. I get Tornadus and Thunderous confused sometimes. Um, I know Thunderous is blue, though, and Tornadus is green. I just say them confused sometimes. Oh, man, until that thun. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna switch into Pineapple. He actually protects. And I, I superpower into Ferrothorn. It does not take out his Ferrothorn. Um, it's really close, though. So he power whips into my Pineapple, and that does so much damage still. Jeez. Um, I'm gonna go for another superpower into Ferrothorn, and I'm gonna protect with my, um, Pineapple. Dang, that did damage. Dang, that did damage. I wasn't expecting it to do that much damage. Oof. Pineapple, you are not bulky. I do take out a Serathorn, though. Biggest threat to Grundy, off the field. He Thunderbolts. I'm at minus two. I'm going to switch Cloudcat out for Grundy here, so I could recycle the Intimidate, Um, because I'm going to lose my Pineapple next turn. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose my Pineapple this turn. Um, I'm going to recycle that Intimidate. Um and my stats and then i'm just going to go for an ice beam into the thunderous slot he actually z powers what's he z power into oh z powers into grundy and it takes it out oh my gosh dang i didn't expect a z power to come in and take me out and i still hate that i have to click a second pokemon this is so irritating um and i say it every single freaking time it frustrates me um Oh man, I should have let Cloud Cat go down. I didn't think in any world that he would Z-move me. And I was Assault Vested, so I couldn't even protect. So, and he Ice Beams me. But of course he's going to outspeed me. I don't even know why he protected. There was a no world that I could have outsped him. Um, even if I was Scarfed, Kingdra would have still outsped me. Because Kingdra is in the rain, so it doubles its speed. So that protect was unnecessary. But, um... Yeah, GG to my opponent. He definitely played better than I did. Um... And he definitely played the game better than I did, like, in general. I would have been in a much better position if I would have just done what I was said I was going to do. It was, like, I wanted to lead. I wanted to lead my, um, I wanted to lead Zapdos, and, um, I wanted to lead, like, Zapdos and, um, Landorus, or Zapdos and Ludicolo, or Zapdos and... Grundy, like if I would have done any of those leads with Zapdos, rather than not bringing Zapdos at all, I would have been in a much better position. Um, Zapdos would have just done way better, because uh, I could have heat waved on that first turn and threatened out immediately, and that would have given him, if he had Rain in the back, he would have switched into his Rain immediately. Um, that would have been better, because I ended up losing to Rain, because he assumed that I was just going to immediately set the Rain. So if I would have just played without my weather, I would think I would have done a lot better, because my team has a lot more non-weather options. I could have also led like... Lander, or I could have also let um, Landorus, Zapdos, like I said, but um, Zapdos, Hello, and Persian, which are the two Pokemon I couldn't, have, I didn't bring at all. I could have brung, and I could have um, Heat Waved, and then I could have um, Z Parting Shot into the, um, or I could have just Normal Parting Shot, even not even Z Parting Shot. I could have Normal Parting Shotted into my. Um, like Landorus or something, and I would have been in a better position because whatever would have switched into the Thunderous slot would have gotten a minus, minus two, minus one, um, and I would have been in a better position, and Heat Wave probably would have taken out the Ferrothorn, assuming that his third, fourth Pokemon wasn't Pelipper, and I have no reason to believe that it would be Pelipper. Um, so I definitely played. He, he brought Pokemon, assuming I was going to say Weather, and I did. So I played right into there, but I I was thinking that he was going to set weather, and I was like, I'll do it anyway. So that was just me playing poorly. Um, so that brings us to 1-1 in the day. I did not play well that game. Um, but yeah, this is my second game ever with this team. So uh, there's going to, of course, be some growing pains. But 
yeah, so I'm going to cut until we're in our third and final game of the day. I need like a glass of water or something. Welcome guys to our third and final game of the day. Um, in this game, we're facing off against another rain team. Why are we facing off against so much rain? Um, this is actually, um, this is actually Mr. Talon's team. So, this is actually Mr. Talon's team. Um, I've seen him use it in one video. The, um, I don't know if I should bring, if I should set the weather or if I should just go with what I think. Because what I think I should do is I think I should lead Landorus Zabdos. That's what I think I should do. Um, I think I should lead Landorus Zapdos, and then I think I should bring Pelipper and Grundy in the back, which is what I was going to do last time, but I talked myself out of it, and I think I should do it this time. Because he doesn't actually lead his weather, so he actually leads a combo to stop my weather. So I probably led the best combo that I could have. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually uh, Rock Slide and Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm going to Rock Slide Heat Wave here. Because I'm naturally faster than him right now, and I can get my weather up. I don't know if he's going to bring his weather at all. He might just go on like, non-weather option, so he does go to get his Intimidate off. Um, Netric actually decides to protect. So this is all going to be single target in Nabulu. Um, so it's a heat wave and a rock slide goes off in Nabulu. And Bulu does flinch. So that's the best turn that I could have gotten right there. I'm going to do the same turn. Rock slide, heat wave. Um, yeah, rock slide, heat wave. Same turn. I should have went for a tailwind that turn. But I didn't know that the Bulu was going to get flinched. Uh, so he has Hidden Power Ice, Rock Slide goes off, and he actually brought the Kingdra, did he not bring the rain? And I burned the Kingdra? Wow. Um, so I got pretty lucky there. I totally lived that Hidden Power Ice, by the way, because of the, um, because of the, um, uh, what's it called? I'm going to go for a knockoff in the Kingdra. And I'm going to go for a uh, Thunderbolt. Should I go for a... I'm going to go for a Rock Slide, and I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Kingdra slot. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Thunder. I'm going to target down the Kingdra, and yeah, because that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So the Kingdra is going to go down right here. All right, crit, crit didn't matter. I was going to take out the Kingdra anyway. Um, so let's see what happens. What's he got his last Pokemon? So he's going to re-bring out the Bulu. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide and Heat Wave again. So he decides to protect. Um, he goes for a Hidden Power Ice again. That's okay. Um, Heat Wave is going to go off on his Manetric. Um, Manetric's almost taken down by that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch into my Bacaw. Here, and I'm going to go ahead and set the Rain because his, um, his Kingdra's out. So I don't got to worry about him setting the Rain anymore. Um, I'm going to go into, I'm going to protect, and I'm going to Thunderbolt into the, um, well, Manetric just protected, right? No, Manetric didn't just protect, um, Bulu just protected, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Thunderbolt into the Bulu slot. So he actually Thunderbolts into my strike twice, that's fine, I Thunderbolt into his Bulu, it's not going to be enough to take it out, and Bulu actually is a Figgy Berry, I didn't know that about his team. Why would he Horn Leech? Horn Leech is neutral damage, that makes no sense. Alright, I'm going to, um... Uh, do you think that I was going to switch out? He must have. Um, I'm going to Scald into the Manetric slot, and I'm going to go ahead, and the Manetric's going to outspeed me, so I'm probably going to die here. That's fine. I'm going to go for Tailwind. I actually live, and it activates my Agua Berry, which is perfect. I get my Tailwind up. Scald's going to actually go off and kill his Manetric, and his Bulu's going to go for a Substitute. Weird. Um... I guess he thought he was going to kill me there, but he definitely didn't. I'm going to Hurricane the Bulu to break its sub, and I'm going to Thunderbolt the Celesteel. Thunderbolt goes off on the Celesteel. That does a lot of damage. Hurricane goes off on the Bulu. That's going to get rid of its substitute. 
He actually leech seeds and horn leeches. Okay. Um, so horn leech doesn't give him much HP back. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I think he's going to protect on his cell steel. That's fine. I'm still going to hurricane thunderbolt so that he doesn't set up any substitutes. And if he decides not to protect on his cell steel, he's just going to die here. So this game is really showing off the um, strength of my, um, so actually I get a crit there on the hurricane, and the hurricane takes it out right there. So this is actually showing the strength of my non-weather option. Um, I'm going to actually switch into Grundy here to get rid of that, and I'm going to Thunderbolt to get rid of the Leech Seed. And Grundy has Ice Punch. Um, Thunderbolt's super effective, though, so Thunderbolt's just going to take it out. I end up winning that game, and I actually get a 3-0 against that team. So we're 2-0 in the day, or 2-1 in the day, since this is our third game. Um, and yeah, we played really well. Um, I was actually super excited uh, for how well I was playing outside the rain. Um, that was kind of worried. One thing that worried me when I was building this team was I made half the team as not weather option. I actually wonder how strong that not weather option was going to be. Plus, I have the um, Ludicolo that can either be in the weather or outside the weather. It can be either or. So, um, we'll see what happens, though, with this team. We're 2-1 in the day. We start off the day really good. I definitely think in that game I made the plays I need to play um, to make to be in a good spot. And, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember, rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase signing off.